Next time you see a shooting star, think it's astronaut trash. You feel like you're floating and your brain is sending you emergency signals like you're gonna die, you're gonna die, you're gonna die, you're gonna die. You float all the time. Um, you can't walk in this, on a space station. You can walk on the moon because on the moon there's some gravity. The only thing you can do is actually go from... So it's only action-reaction, right? I push here. I'm going to go the opposite direction until something blocks me, right? So you have to anticipate your trajectory. And thank God there's not a, biggest, a big volume like this on the space station, because if there was, you could be stuck in the middle, right? The only thing you can do is push, 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 redirect yourself, grab a handle, pull, push. That's how you're doing it, and that's why all vehicles are small. I would say it's really easy to do yoga in space, because you can, you know, you can, do, you can do all the moves. You can float. It's even better. Once you get to space, you can, get, you can be space sick. Space sick is just like seasick. It's the same kind of sickness. And what it is, it's a sensory conflict between different senses. So your, your eyes are telling you, okay, I'm straight and level, but your, uh, your autolysts in your inner ear are floating now suddenly. So they're, they're sending contradictory info information. It's the same on a, on a boat. Your eyes are telling you something. Your, the acceleration that your body is feeling is telling you something different. One of, one of the very also that cracked me up, especially the second time when you're, when you're a veteran, right? Because you, you, you're more used to it. And if I, if I want to throw you something, if I want to throw you a ball here on earth, I'm actually aiming above your head because my brain is computing that gravity is going to pull on the ball. So it's not going to be a straight line, right? It's going to be a curve when you do a pass. So on the space station, 99 times out of 10, when you have a, a new a beginner, a new flyer, like, hey, can you send me the food or whatever? They're like, yeah, sure. And it's, right, it's two meters above your head. It's too funny because your brain, and the guy's trying to pass the food to you, but he still has an Earth brain, not a space station brain. And once you get the space station brain, then you're, you're used to it. The first time, I didn't know what to expect. So when you have no you know, preconceived idea. I was trying to look at my crewmates and see how they reacted. I was like, they're not freaking out, so everything must be fine. Um, and, but honestly, that's, that's you. I, was, I was just discovering the, the feelings. There's, a, there's an element of, you know, being squashed, of the vibrations, the noise, the shaking, sometimes the, tr the stage transition between the different uh, stages of the, of the rocket. What was I thinking? My thoughts were, I'm gonna die. But, uh, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. So you have to relearn how to do everything in space. Your hygiene, there's no running water, so we, you take a, a towel with some soap and then you, you humidify the towel, you, you wash yourself with a wet towel, things like this. And so you sleep, you're in a, in a sleeping bag, uh, you're attached to the wall, right? Or the ceiling, it doesn't matter. But you're floating, right? And the first time, I remember the first time you wake up, actually your arms take that relaxed position, so you wake up with, with a hand in face of you. I was like, oh, what is this? It's actually my arms. Um, and you can move, I don't recommend doing this, but you can move people in their sleeps, right? If you want to play a joke on them, right? You can move them during their sleep. Mm -hmm. Eating is uh, space food is dehydrated, but mostly it's just cans. Cans of food, you warm them up. Or, or, um, or um, aluminum uh, pouches as well that you can warm up. Uh, military rations, things like this. Some commercial products. I mean, you can have whatever your favorite cookie from uh, from the ground. NASA or ESA is going to send it up for you. And that's how we burn our trash, by the way, on the ISS. You you send it down in a vehicle on a return trajectory without a heat shield. It's going to burn up. Very clean, really nice. Next time you see a shooting star, think it's astronaut trash. Because <laughs> honestly, there's a chance it's true. You're leaving your family behind, right? You're leaving your friends behind and anything can happen, right? That was my biggest scare on the space station. What if something happens to you know, the persons I love? Do, you can't come back. They won't bring you back, there's no way. So you're gonna have to continue the mission, right? No matter what.